Welcome to CTF 365. My name is Chris, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Nmap to discover and scan targets. Before we begin, I'd like to explain what Nmap is and what it's used for. Nmap stands for Network Mapper, and it's used to do two things. It's used to discover hosts connected to a network, and it's used to discover services offered by those hosts. So what's a host? A host is essentially any device that's connected to a network. Some common examples are routers, laptops, gaming consoles, smartphones, wireless printers, voice over IP systems, and servers. Some examples of services are FTP, SSH, SMTP, VNC, MySQL, HTTP, and so on. Now, in addition to discovering hosts and services, Nmap also has the ability to fingerprint operating systems, identify service versions, and locate firewalls and intrusion detection systems. You can use it to inventory your network, look for open ports, check your firewall status, and the list goes on. So because there are so many things that you can do with Nmap, I recommend doing some additional research on it. Now with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First, you need to connect to the CTF365 VPN. If you don't know how to do that, I'll place a VPN tutorial link in the description for you. Once you're connected to the VPN, we're going to install Nmap. So go ahead and open up a terminal. And in the terminal, we're going to type apt tack get space install space Nmap and then press enter. And if you're prompted to confirm the installation, just type Y and then press enter and then give it a few moments to finish the installation and we'll move on. So now that we have Nmap installed, we're going to perform some different scans. First, we're going to perform a basic scan called a ping scan, and this will simply show us how many hosts are on the network. Before we start the scan though, I want to point out that CTF365 uses two subnets. There's 10.195.2.0, which is the free arena where you'll find our vulnerable by design servers, and then there's 10.194.0.0, and this is the main arena where you'll find all of the user controlled fortresses. Because the main arena is only accessible to premium users, we're going to scan the free arena. This way I can accommodate everybody. So to begin the scan, let's type nmap space tac s uppercase p space 10.195.2.0 forward slash 24 and then press enter. And the forward slash 24 is telling nmap to scan the entire subnet, which can consist of up to 256 IP addresses. So be patient and allow the scan enough time to finish. I'm going to skip forward in the video to where the results are showing. Okay, if you look at the scan results, you'll see that Nmap found five hosts on the network. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to pick one of those hosts and we're going to perform a more thorough scan on it. And we're going to use the second host on the list there and that's our made exploitable server. So let's type Nmap space tac s uppercase v space 10.195.2.2 and then press enter. And this may take a few minutes, so I'm going to skip forward to when the scan finishes. Okay, and the scan is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the top of the scan results. And what you're seeing here is a list of ports, services, and version numbers. So where do you go from here? Well. At this point, you could start looking into each of these services on an individual basis. For example, VSFTP version 2.3.4 is running on port 21, and if you did some research on it, you'd find that it has a well-documented vulnerability that can be exploited to gain root access to the server. You could also attempt to brute force some of the services like SSH and VNC. So really that covers our Nmap tutorial. Again, I encourage you to do some additional research experiment with the different scan options and start finding some vulnerabilities. If you have any questions, please visit our blog at blog.ctf365.com.